All improvement in your life comes from changing your beliefs about yourself and your possibilities. Personal growth comes from changing your beliefs about what you can do and about what is possible for you. Would you like to double your income? Of course, you would. Here's the question. Do you believe that it is possible? How would you like to triple your income? Do you believe that that is possible as well? Whatever your level of skepticism, let me ask you a question. Since you started your first job, haven't you already doubled or tripled your income? Aren't you already earning vastly more than you earned when you started? Haven't you already proven to yourself that it is possible to double and triple your income? And what you have done before, you can do again, and probably over and over if you just learn how. You simply have to believe that it is possible. Napoleon Hill said, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, he can achieve. Perhaps the greatest breakthrough in the 20th century in the field of human potential was the discovery of the self-concept. Everything you do or achieve in your life, every thought, feeling, or action is controlled and determined by your self-concept. Your self-concept predicts your levels of performance and effectiveness in everything you do. It is the master program of your mental computer, the basic operating system. Everything that you accomplish in your outer world is a result of your self-concept. What psychologists have discovered is that your self-concept is made up of the sum total of all your beliefs, attitudes, feelings, and opinions about yourself and your world. Because of this, you always operate in a manner consistent with your self-concept, whether positive or negative. Here's an interesting discovery about the self-concept. Even if your self-concept is made up of erroneous beliefs about yourself or your world, as far as you are concerned, these are facts, and you will think, feel, and act accordingly. As it happens, your beliefs about yourself are largely subjective. They are often not based on fact at all. They are the result of information you have taken in throughout your life and the way you have processed that information. Your beliefs have been shaped and formed by your early childhood, your friends and associates, your reading and education, your experiences, both positive and negative, and a thousand other factors. The worst of all beliefs are self-limiting beliefs. If you believe yourself to be limited in some way, whether or not it is true, it becomes true for you. If you believe it, you will act as if you were deficient in that particular area of talent or skill. Overcoming self-limiting beliefs and self-imposed limitations is often the biggest obstacle standing between you and the realization of your full potential. Albert Einstein was sent home from school as a young man with a learning disability. His parents were told that he was incapable of being educated. They refused to accept this diagnosis and eventually arranged for him to get an excellent education. Dr. Albert Schweitzer had the same problems at school as a boy. His parents were encouraged to apprentice him to a shoemaker so that he would have a safe, secure job when he grew up. Both men went on to earn doctorates before the ages of 20 and to leave their marks on the history of the 20th century. According to an article in Fortune magazine on learning disabilities in business, Many presidents and senior executives of Fortune 500 corporations today were diagnosed in school as being not particularly bright or capable. But by virtue of hard work, they went on to achieve great success in their industries. Thomas Edison was expelled from school in the sixth grade. His parents were told that it would be a waste of time to spend any money educating him because he was not particularly smart or capable of being taught in anything. Edison went on to become the greatest inventor of the modern age. This kind of story has been repeated thousands of times. Self-limiting beliefs, sometimes based on a single experience or a casual remark, can hold you back for years. Almost everyone has had the experience of mastering a skill in an area where they thought they had no ability and being quite surprised at themselves. Perhaps this has happened to you. You suddenly realize that your limiting ideas about yourself in that area were not based on fact at all. Louise Hay, the writer, says that the roots of most of our problems in life are contained in the feeling, I'm not good enough. Dr. Alfred Adler said that it is the natural inheritance of Western men to have feelings of inferiority that start in childhood and often continue through adult life. Many people, because of their negative beliefs, most of which are erroneous, falsely consider themselves to be limited in intelligence, talent, capability, creativity, or skill of some kind. In virtually every case, these beliefs are false. The fact is that you have more potential than you could ever use in your entire lifetime. No one is better than you, and no one is smarter than you. People are just smarter or better in different areas at different times. According to Dr. Howard Gardner of Harvard University, the founder of the concept of multiple intelligences, 
You're possessed of at least 10 different intelligences, in any one of which you might be a genius. Unfortunately, only two intelligences are measured and reported throughout school and university, verbal and mathematical. But you could be a genius in the areas of physio-spatial intelligence, art, design, entrepreneurial intelligence, business startups, physical or kinesthetic intelligence, sports, musical intelligence, playing musical instruments, writing music, interpersonal intelligence, getting along well with others, interpersonal intelligence, understanding yourself at a deep level, intuitive intelligence, ability to sense the right thing to do or say, artistic intelligence, creating works of art, or abstract intelligence, physics, science. As the saying on the wall of an inner city school reads, God don't make no junk. Each person is capable of achieving excellence in some way, in some area. You have within you right now the ability to function at genius or exceptional levels in at least one, and perhaps several, different intelligences. Your job is to find out what it could be for you. Your responsibility to yourself is to cast off all these self-limiting beliefs and accept that you are an extraordinarily capable and talented person. You are engineered for greatness and designed for success. You have competencies and capabilities that have never been tapped. You have the ability within yourself right now to accomplish almost any goal you can set for yourself if you are willing to work long enough and hard enough to achieve it. The good news about beliefs is that all beliefs are learned. They can therefore be unlearned, especially if they are not helpful. When you came into the world, you had no beliefs at all about yourself, your religion, your political party, other people, or the world in general. Today, you know a lot of things, but as the comic Josh Billings once wrote, it ain't what a man knows that hurts him, it's what he knows that ain't true. There are many things that you know about yourself that are simply not true, and these are almost always in the area of self-limiting beliefs. The starting point of unlocking more of your potential is for you to identify your self-limiting beliefs and then ask, what if they were not true at all? What if you were possessed of an extraordinary ability in an area where you didn't think you were very good at all? such as selling, entrepreneurship, public speaking, or money making. Everywhere I go throughout the world, I have taught these principles to many tens of thousands of people. I have filing drawers full of letters and emails from people who had never heard this idea of self-limiting beliefs before, but once they heard it, they changed their entire attitudes towards themselves. They began to see themselves as far more confident and capable in key areas of their lives than they had ever been before. In no time at all, they began transforming their lives and changing their results. Their incomes doubled and tripled and quadrupled. Many of them became millionaires and multimillionaires. They went from the bottom of their companies to the top, from the worst performer in their sales forces to the highest earning person in their companies. After they changed their beliefs about themselves and their personal potentials, they learned new skills and took on new challenges. They set bigger goals and threw their whole hearts into achieving them. By questioning their beliefs and by refusing to accept that they were limited in any way, they took complete charge of their lives and careers and created new realities for themselves. And what countless others have done, you can do as well. Imagine that there was a belief store, very much like a computer software store, that you could visit and purchase a belief to program into your subconscious mind. If you could choose any set of beliefs at all, which beliefs would be the most helpful to you? Here's my suggestion. Select this belief. I am destined to be a big success in life. If you absolutely believe that you are destined to be a big success, you will walk, talk, and act as if everything that happens to you in life is part of a great plan to make you successful. And as it happens, this is how the top people think in every field. Top people look for the good in every situation. They know that it is always there, no matter how many reversals and setbacks they experience. They expect to get something good out of everything that happens to them. They believe that every setback is part of a great plan that is moving them inexorably toward achieving the great success that is inevitable for them. If your beliefs are positive enough, you will seek the valuable lesson in every setback or difficulty. You will confidently believe that there are many things that you have to learn on the road to achieving and keeping your ultimate success. You, therefore, look upon every problem as a learning experience. Napoleon Hill wrote, within every difficulty or obstacle, there is the seed of an equal or greater advantage or benefit. With this kind of attitude, you benefit from everything that happens to you, positive or negative, as you move upward and onward toward achieving your major definite purpose.
There's a law of reversibility in psychology and metaphysics that says you are more likely to act yourself into feeling a particular way than you are to feel yourself into acting. What this means is that when you start off, you may not feel like the great success that you desire to be. You will not have the self-confidence that comes from a record of successful achievement. You will often doubt your own abilities and fear failure. You will feel that you are not good enough, at least not yet. But if you act as if you were already the person you desire to be, with the qualities and talents that you desire to have, your actions will generate the feelings that go with them. You will actually act yourself into feeling the way you want to feel by the law of reversibility. If you want to be one of the top people in your business, dress like the top people, groom like the top people, organize your work habits the way they do, pick the most successful people in your field and use them as your role models. If possible, go to them and ask them for advice on how to get ahead more rapidly, and whatever advice they give you, follow it immediately. Take action. When you start to walk, talk, dress, and behave like the top people, you soon begin to feel like the top people. You will treat other people like the top people do. You will work the way the top people work. You will start to get the results that the top people get. In no time at all, you will be one of the top people yourself. Maybe you've heard the saying, fake it till you make it. But there is a lot of truth to it. A friend of mine is a very successful sales manager. After he had carefully interviewed and then selected a new salesman, he would take the salesman to a Cadillac dealership and insist that he trade in his old car for a new Cadillac. The salesman would usually balk at the idea. He would be frightened of the cost of the car and the huge monthly payments involved. But the sales manager would insist that he buy the Cadillac as a condition of employment. What do you think happened afterwards? First, the salesman would drive the car home, and his wife would almost have a heart attack when she saw that he had bought a new Cadillac. But after she had settled down, he would take her for a ride around the neighborhood in the new Cadillac. The neighbors would see them driving in a new Cadillac, and as he waved on the way past, he would park his new Cadillac in front of his house or in his driveway. People would come over and admire it. Gradually, imperceptibly, at a subconscious level, his attitude toward himself and his earning potential would begin to change. Within a few days, he began to see himself as the kind of person who drove a new Cadillac. He saw himself as a big money earner in his field. He saw himself as one of the top performers in his industry. And time after time, almost without fail, average salespeople in this organization became sales superstars. Their sales performance jumped, and they earned more than they had ever before. Soon, the payments on the new Cadillac were of no concern because their incomes were so much greater. Emmett Fox, the spiritual teacher, once said that your main job in life is to create the mental equivalent within yourself of what you want to realize and enjoy in your outer world. Your focus must be on creating the beliefs within yourself that are consistent with the great success you want to be in your outer world. You achieve this by challenging your self-limiting beliefs, rejecting them, and then acting as if they did not exist. You reinforce the development of new, life-enhancing beliefs by increasing your knowledge and skills in your field to the point where you feel equal to any demand or challenge. You accelerate the development of new positive beliefs by setting bigger and more exciting goals in every area. Finally, you act continually as if you were already the person that you desire to be. Your aim is to reprogram your subconscious mind for success by creating the mental equivalent in everything you do or say. You develop new beliefs by taking actions consistent with those beliefs. You act as if you already believe that you have these capabilities and competences. You behave like a positive, optimistic, and cheerful person toward everyone. You act as if your success were already guaranteed. You act as if you have a secret guarantee of success and only you know about it. You realize that you are developing, shaping, and controlling the evolution of your own character and personality by everything that you do and say every single day. Since you become what you think about, you should only say and do those things that are consistent with your ideal self, the person you most aspire to be, and your long-term future ideals. You should only think and talk about the things that are moving you toward becoming the person you want to be and toward achieving the goals that you want to achieve. Make a decision this very day to challenge and reject any self-limiting beliefs that you might have that could be holding you back. Look into yourself and question the areas of your life where you have doubts about your abilities or talents. You might ask your friends and family members if they see any negative beliefs that you might have. Often, they will be aware of negative self-limiting beliefs you have that you're not aware of yourself. In every case, once you have identified these negative beliefs, ask yourself, what if the opposite were true? 
What if you had the ability to be extraordinarily successful in an area where you currently doubt yourself? What if you had been programmed from infancy with genius ability in a particular area? For example, what if you had within you right now the ability to earn and keep all the money you could ever want throughout your life? What if you had a golden touch with regard to money? If you absolutely believe these things to be true, what would you do differently from what you are doing today? Your beliefs are always manifested in your words and actions. Make sure that everything you say and do from now on is consistent with the beliefs that you want to have in the person that you want to become. In time, you will replace more and more of your self-limiting beliefs with life-enhancing beliefs. Over time, you will completely reprogram yourself for success. When this occurs, the transformation that takes place in your outer life will amaze you and all the people around you. Defining goals with clarity is one of the most important factors for enhancing personal productivity. Understanding what you desire and mastering the methods to achieve those goals makes it easier to overcome psychological barriers and procrastination. Moreover, it provides a sense of satisfaction upon promptly and completely fulfilling tasks. Stagnation and lack of motivation stem from the vagueness and ambiguity regarding work goals, as well as the sequence of executing those tasks. Strive to avoid falling into this common situation by clearly and precisely identifying goals for all the tasks you need to accomplish. Write down on paper all your thoughts and fundamental principles leading to success. Success with the same starting foundation, such as educational background, professional knowledge, and work capacity, is common. But those who articulate their thoughts into specific goals on paper will complete five to ten times more work than others. The necessary steps are 1. Accurately identify the tasks that need to be done. 2. Build a habit of writing down all thoughts along with plans. 3. Determine the time to complete the tasks. 4. List all possible options to achieve the set goals. 5. Convert feasible options into action plans. 6. Take action. 7. Commitment. Complete a portion of the tasks in the plan every day. Starting now, take out a piece of blank paper and list 10 goals you want to achieve in the coming year. Visualize the time a year has passed and those goals are right in front of you. Use active sentences and first-person pronouns to deeply embed the goals in your mind. For example, the annual income I earn is, I own a brand of car, I have conquered the customer market in my area, I have exceeded the annual revenue target. Afterward, review this list of 10 goals and select one significant goal that has the potential to make a significant difference and positively impact your life and career. Focus all your resources on this goal by outlining a detailed plan on paper, setting a fast completion timeline, and getting started on each part of the work, persevering until you truly achieve your goal. Just this practice alone can change your life. Planning how to eat an elephant is an impressive way of addressing significant and complex macro-level issues. The most accurate answer is that you have to eat it one bite at a time. This means that before you embark on execution, you need to break down the problem into many detailed parts, prioritize them, and set specific deadlines. When you apply this process, you will complete any task and goal you set out to achieve. The intelligence and ability to analyze the real situation set goals, plan implementation, and decide on actions are effective tools to overcome your own intrinsic resistance and enhance work efficiency. This tool will also determine your attitude towards work and life. Regularly thinking and planning will help unleash your inner potential, stimulate creativity, and enhance resources both physically and mentally. The best time for you to make a to-do list is in the evening after finishing a day's work. Put all the unfinished tasks into the task for the next day section and add all new tasks for the next day. When you make a detailed list in the evening, your subconscious will sketch out ways to carry out each task on that list while you sleep. The next morning, you will wake up with a sharp mind, clarity, along with great ideas and almost unconscious solutions. This will help you complete tasks quickly and more effectively than the initial problem-solving approach you thought of. Starting today, plan your daily, weekly, and monthly work schedule for the upcoming time. You should prepare a notebook or some blank papers to jot down all the tasks for tomorrow. Don't forget to add any new ideas that arise to that list. In summary, list all complex and important projects, tasks, or goals for your future. Arrange the list in order of priority and importance, then review it in reverse priority order to avoid missing any factors. 
The important thing is to cultivate the habit of working based on the prepared plan. You will be surprised to see your work efficiency increasing day by day with very optimistic results. Applying the 80-20th rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, is one of the most complete rules that embody the essence of time and life management concepts. This rule states that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. For example, 80% of results come from 20% of efforts, 80% of revenue comes from 20% of customers, and so on. By identifying the top 10 to 20% priority tasks that contribute to 80 to 90% of the results, you can focus your energy on tasks that truly matter and eliminate or delegate tasks that do not contribute significantly. Evaluate tasks based on predictions to identify important tasks that need to be done next. Successful individuals always have a clear future direction, not only in the short term but also in the long term. They analyze current choices and actions to ensure they align with their long-term vision. Having a clear understanding of what truly matters for your long-term future will help you make reasonable and accurate decisions about current priority goals. Important goals are those that can bring positive, stable, and long-lasting results in the future. Before embarking on any task, seriously answer the question, what results will I achieve by doing this task? What will happen if I neglect it? Time always moves on, and the biggest question you need to answer is how you should use your time effectively and what goals you need to achieve. Regularly review your list of tasks, activities, and projects. Identify which projects or tasks, if completed quickly and excellently, will have the most positive and powerful impact on your life. Efficiently handling low-value tasks in the new year involves thinking methods based on the zero-based approach. Ask yourself, if I am still doing this task now, Having predicted the results, would I do it again? Evaluate all your activities based on the circumstances you are currently living in and eliminate or postpone tasks that do not bring significant benefits. Prioritize tasks using the ABCDE method. Review your task list and mark tasks with letters A, B, C, D, or E according to their priority level. Identify task or project A1 and immediately start implementing it. Practice this method every day and apply it when making weekly or monthly task lists or projects. When this becomes a successful habit, it will be built on a more solid foundation. Focus on key areas and frequently ask yourself why you are paid. Identify the areas and skills necessary to excel in your tasks. Rate yourself in each specific area. And find a key skill that, if mastered, will have the most positive impact on your work. Prioritize three important tasks and three goals in your life. Identify the top three tasks you need to accomplish in a day and the top three goals in each area you care about. Arrange them in order and plan to achieve those goals. Be prepared before starting any task to overcome hesitation and procrastination. Being fully prepared with everything you need before starting a task is crucial for accomplishing more tasks. Lay out all the necessary ingredients, utensils, and pre-prepared materials to launch your important task smoothly. Pay attention to your workspace and tidy it up to create a more energetic and confident environment. Execute tasks step by step, focusing on each specific task at hand. Start by choosing a goal or project and listing all the necessary steps to achieve it. Complete each task on the list one by one until all the work is completed. Improve your professional skills starting today by committing to constantly honing and expanding your knowledge. Identify the important skills that help you achieve goals quickly and optimally and start developing them. Leverage your unique abilities and frequently ask yourself important questions about your career and life direction. Identify key obstacles and your most important goal today. Take immediate action to implement the plan you have set and create pressure for yourself by setting deadlines for completion. Write down all the necessary steps to implement an important task or project before you start working on it. Regularly seek different ways to save, organize, and consolidate your work time. Focus on the important results you have been entrusted to accomplish and build urgency in all tasks you undertake. Cultivate the habit of working quickly and efficiently in areas where you are likely to procrastinate. Start today by creating a sense of urgency in all tasks you undertake. Choose an area where you are likely to procrastinate and commit to cultivating the habit of working quickly and efficiently in that area. Focus on each task, set clear specific goals, and quickly start working on the most important goals. Work diligently until the task is completed in its entirety. 
This is the effective method for working efficiently and maximizing individual labor productivity. Consistently applying these principles and practices will lay the groundwork for your future success and openness to new opportunities for growth and development. Everyone here is either a self-made millionaire or intends to become one in the future. Everybody loves the subject of becoming wealthy. Now, I'm going to give you seven keys to becoming an outstanding leader in this industry and to becoming one of the highest paid individuals in our society. Becoming wealthy isn't complicated. To become a millionaire, you don't have to completely change yourself. Instead, you need to develop character beyond what 99% of people in the world possess. This includes developing qualities like honesty, discipline, building quality relationships, and having the willingness and ability to work, set priorities, and handle various challenges. Without these qualities, achieving wealth is nearly impossible. The first key is to dream big dreams. Nearly every successful person has cited a turning point in their life when they decided to pursue their dreams vigorously. It's about making a firm decision that you will become wealthy, that you will become a millionaire, and that you're willing to put in the hard work, long hours, and sacrifices required. The turning point is when you make the decision to commit fully to your goal. Now, let's discuss what I call the seven C's. The first C is clarity. Clarity is crucial for success. I've consulted for numerous corporations, both large and small, and I've found that problems often arise when there's a lack of clarity about what the company is doing or how it's doing it. I've developed a program called the Two-Day MBA, which emphasizes the importance of clarity in various aspects of a business. It's essential to be clear about your product, your target customers, your competitive advantages, and your strategies for attracting and retaining customers. The second C is commitment. Success requires unwavering commitment to your goals. You must be willing to work diligently and persistently towards your objectives, no matter the obstacles or setbacks you encounter along the way. The third C is competence. To excel in your field and earn significant wealth, you must continuously strive to improve your skills and expertise. Identify the essential skills needed for success in your industry and dedicate yourself to mastering them. The fourth C is concentration. Focus single-mindedly on your most important tasks and avoid distractions. Concentrate your efforts on high-priority activities that align with your goals. The fifth C is constraints. Identify and address the constraints that are limiting your progress towards your goals. Focus on eliminating or overcoming these obstacles to accelerate your success. The sixth C is continuous learning and development. Dedicate yourself to lifelong learning and personal development. Invest time and effort into expanding your knowledge and skills to stay ahead in your field. The seventh C is courage. Have the courage to take risks, face challenges, and pursue your goals relentlessly. Be willing to step out of your comfort zone and embrace uncertainty in pursuit of your dreams. In summary, by embodying these seven C's, clarity, commitment, competence, concentration, constraints, continuous learning and development, and courage, you can unlock your potential for success and achieve your goals of becoming wealthy. It's not an easy journey, but with dedication and perseverance, you can turn your dreams into reality years the corrected version. You'll see, this is why it's so important to have absolute clarity regarding your goals in each area of your life. It's essential for you to be motivated to perform at your very best. An important point to note regarding the ABC formula is that your behaviors are not guaranteed to achieve the consequences you desire. However, every behavior or action you engage in will generate some kind of consequence. One of the most critical aspects of understanding motivation and behavior is realizing that both actions and inactions have consequences. What you do, as well as what you fail to do, will have consequences in your future. Sometimes, these consequences can be dramatic and long-lasting. A beneficial exercise for success is to write a description of the type of person you like to be and the kind of life you like to live. Your most powerful faculty is your ability to think. The more accurately you can think about who you are, what you want to accomplish, and how to accomplish it, the more effective and successful you'll be. The eighth law of success is the law of subconscious activity, which has several applications. The first part of this law states that whatever thought or idea mixed with emotion you hold in your conscious mind will be accepted as a command by your subconscious mind. This means that whatever thought, idea, or goal you can hold in your mind on a continuing basis, you can achieve because your subconscious mind will work to organize all your thoughts and actions to bring it into reality. 
The second part of the law of subconscious activity is that, once you give it the proper commands, your subconscious mind will trigger your reticular cortex and its function, the reticular activating system. Your reticular cortex alerts you to events and circumstances around you that are consistent with your dominant desires or concerns. For example, if you decide you want to buy a red sports car, this desire will signal to your reticular cortex that red sports cars are now of paramount importance to you. From that moment on, you would notice red sports cars everywhere. Your reticular cortex will cause you to be extremely sensitive to opportunities around you that would help you achieve your goals. The third part of the law of subconscious activity is that your subconscious mind controls your body language and tone of voice. Professor Moravian of the University of California at Santa Barbara concluded that 55% of the message you send when communicating with others is contained in your body language, 38% in your tone of voice, and only 7% in the actual words you use. Your body language and tone of voice are largely controlled by messages about yourself and your goals that you've set to your subconscious mind. For example, when you've had a success of any kind, you send a charge of emotional energy to your subconscious mind that tells it you're a winner. As a result, you walk, talk, act, and think like a winner. The ninth law of success is the law of expectations, often called the law of the self-fulfilling prophecy. It simply states that whatever you expect with confidence tends to materialize in your life. You get not what you want, but what you expect with the greatest intensity. For this reason, an attitude of positive self-expansion goes hand in hand with great success in every area of your life. The wonderful thing about the law of expectations is that you have the power to manufacture your own expectations. You can decide to expect only good things to happen to you. You can become convinced that the entire world is conspiring to do you good. The way you apply the law of expectations is by constantly looking for the good in every person in every situation. When you have a temporary setback, you can look for the valuable lesson it might contain. This kind of affirmation causes you to approach everything you do with a more positive, open, and optimistic attitude. The most powerful of all expectations are the expectations you have of yourself. You should approach everything you do with an attitude of calm confidence. The tenth law of success, which applies to many other areas of life, is called the law of concentration. It states that whatever you concentrate on and think about repeatedly with emotion tends to become more and more a part of your inner and outer life. Some of the most important work in psychology shows that if you dwell upon qualities you wish to develop, like courage, sincerity, and persistence, you tend to actually build those qualities brick by brick into your character and personality. The law of success, the law of habit, states that virtually everything you do is automatic and unthinking. You are largely a creature of habit. Good habits are hard to form but easy to live with, while bad habits are easy to form but hard to live with. One of the hardest things to change are bad habits which are counterproductive to the goals you want to achieve. Therefore, it's important to analyze your habits carefully and decide whether they are moving you towards or away from your goals. The twelfth law of success is the law of attraction. It says that you are a living magnet and that you inevitably attract into your life the people, events, and circumstances that harmonize with your dominant thoughts. The law of attraction has been written about for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. It's often referred to as the law of sympathetic resonance. It explains that if you have a clear goal or idea, you will attract people and resources that can help you realize that goal. Another illustration of the law of attraction is its opposite, the law of repulsion. When you become a particular kind of person because of the way you change your thinking, you will find yourself attracted to people who are similar to you and repelled by those who aren't. The thirteenth law of success is the law of choice, which says that you are always free to choose the content of your conscious mind. Your thoughts control your reality, and since no one else can think for you, the thoughts you choose to harbor determine everything that happens in your life. The fourteenth law of success is the law of optimism which states that a positive mental attitude goes hand in hand with success and happiness in virtually every dimension of life. The more optimistic you are, the happier you'll be, and the more things you'll be willing to attempt. The fifteenth law of success, the law of change, says simply that change is inevitable. Everything is changing, and all progress requires change. Your life can only get better when you get better. If you don't take advantage of change, you will end up being the victim of change. In conclusion, the laws of success are based on the foundation principle that in order to succeed, you must first decide what success means to you. 
You can then apply these laws to your definition of success to bring it more rapidly into your reality. If I were given only five minutes to speak to you and could convey only one thought that would help you be more successful, I would tell you to write down your goals, make plans to achieve them, and work on those plans every single day. This advice, if followed, would be more helpful than anything else you could ever learn. The speed at which you move onward and upward will amaze both yourself and all the people around you. By following these simple and easy to apply methods and techniques, you can quickly move from rags to riches in the months and years ahead. You can transform your experience from poverty and frustration to affluence and satisfaction. You can go far beyond your friends and family and achieve more in life than most other people you know. Welcome, a great new adventure is about to begin. This is a wonderful time to be alive. There have never been more opportunities for creative and determined people to achieve more of their goals than today, regardless of short-term ups and downs in the economy and in your life. When I was 18, I left high school without graduating. My first job was as a dishwasher in the back of a small hotel. From there, I moved on to washing cars and then washing floors with a janitorial service. For the next few years, I drifted and worked at various laboring jobs, earning my living by the sweat of my brow. I worked in sawmills and factories, on farms and ranches, and in the tall timber with a chainsaw and digging wells. When the logging season ended, I worked as a construction laborer on tall buildings and as a seaman on a Norwegian freighter in the North Atlantic. Often, I slept in my car or in cheap rooming houses. When I was 23, I was working as an itinerant farm laborer during the harvest, sleeping on hay in the barn and eating with the farmer's family. I was uneducated, unskilled, and at the end of the harvest, unemployed once more. When I could no longer find a laboring job, I got a job in straight commission sales, cold calling from office to office and from door to door. I would often work all day long to make a single sale so that I could pay for my rooming house and have a place to sleep that night. This was not a great start at life. Then, one day, I took out a piece of paper and wrote down an outrageous goal for myself. To earn $11,000 per month in door-to-door -door and office-to-office -office selling. I folded up the piece of paper, put it away, and never found it again. But 30 days later, my entire life had changed. During that time, I discovered a technique for closing sales that tripled my income from the very first day. Meanwhile, the owner of my company sold out to an entrepreneur who had just moved into town. Exactly 30 days after I had written down my goal, he took me aside and offered me $1,000 per month to head up the sales force and teach the other people what it was that enabled me to be selling so much more than anyone else. I accepted his offer, and from that day forward, my life was never the same. Within 18 months, I had moved from that job to another and then to another. I went from personal selling to becoming a sales manager with people selling for me. I recruited and built a 95-person sales force. I went literally from worrying about my next meal to walking around with a pocket full of $20 bills. I began teaching my salespeople how to write out their goals and how to sell more effectively. In almost no time at all, they doubled and tripled and increased their incomes as much as 10 times. Many of them are today millionaires and multi-millionaires. As a result of inexperience and sometimes sheer stupidity, I have spent or lost everything I made and had to start over again several times. In every case when this happened, I would begin by sitting down with a piece of paper, laying out a new set of goals for myself using the methods that I'll explain in the sessions ahead. After several years of hit and miss goal setting and goal achieving, I finally decided to collect everything I had learned into a single system. By assembling these ideas and strategies in one place, I developed a goal setting methodology and process for the beginning, middle, and end and began to follow it every day. What I found was that these ideas work everywhere for everyone and virtually in every country. No matter what your education, experience, or background may be, when you begin, most of all, these ideas have made it possible for me and many thousands of others to take complete control over our lives. The regular and systematic practice of goal setting has taken us from poverty to prosperity, from frustration to fulfillment, from underachievement to success and satisfaction. This system will do the same for you. What I learned early on is that any plan is better than no plan at all. And it is not necessary to reinvent the wheel. All the answers have already been found. There are hundreds of thousands and even millions of men and women who have started with nothing and achieved great success following these principles. And what others have done, you can do as well if you just learn how. 
You will find that there are no limits to what you can accomplish except for the limits you place on your own imagination. And since there are no limits to what you can imagine, there are no limits to what you can achieve. All successful people are intensely goal-oriented. They know what they want, and they are focused single-mindedly on achieving it every single day. Your ability to set goals is the master skill of success. Goals unlock your positive mind and release ideas and energy for goal attainment. Without goals, you simply drift and flow on the currents of life. But with goals, you fly like an arrow straight and true to your target. One of the great rules for success is this. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. All that really matters is where you're going. And where you are going is solely determined by yourself and your own thoughts. Everything in your life started as a thought, a wish, a hope, a dream, either in your mind or in the mind of someone else. Your thoughts are creative. Your thoughts form and shape your world and everything that happens to you. Many thousands of successful people have been asked what it is that they think about most of the time. The most common answer given by successful people is that they think about what they want and how to get it most of the time. On the other hand, unsuccessful, unhappy people think and talk about what they don't want most of the time. They talk about their problems and their worries and who is to blame most of the time. But successful people keep their thoughts and conversation on the topics of their most intensely desired goals. They think and talk about what they want most of the time. You have the same goal achieving ability as the homing pigeon, but with one marvelous addition. When you are absolutely clear about your goal, you don't even have to know where it is or how it is to be achieved. By simply deciding exactly what it is you want, you will begin to move unerringly toward your goal, and your goal will start to move unerringly toward you. At exactly the right time and in exactly the right place, you always achieve your goals, whatever they are. You move toward them, and they move toward you. If your goal is to get home at night and watch television, you will almost certainly achieve it. If your goal is to create a wonderful life full of health, happiness, and prosperity, you'll achieve that as well. Nature doesn't care about the size or scope of your goals. If you set little goals, your automatic goal achieving mechanism will enable you to achieve little goals. If you set large goals, this natural capability will enable you to achieve large goals. Here's a good question. If goal setting is automatic, why is it that so few people have clear, written, measurable, time-bound in goals that they work toward each day? I believe there are four reasons why people don't set goals. First, most people don't realize the importance of goals. If you grow up in a home where no one has goals, or you socialize with a group where goals are neither discussed nor valued, you can very easily reach adulthood without knowing that your ability to set and achieve goals will have more of an effect on your life than any other skill. The second reason that people don't have goals is that they don't know how to set them in the first place. Even worse, many people think that they already have goals when, in reality, what they actually have is a series of wishes or dreams. A goal, however, is something distinctly different from a wish. A goal is clear, written, and specific. It can quickly and easily be described to another person. You can measure it, and you know when you have achieved it or not. And, of course, if you never hear about goals until you're an adult, as I experienced, you'll have no idea how important they are to everything you do. They then make the mistake of unconsciously sabotaging themselves by not setting any goals at which they might fail. They end up going through life functioning at far lower levels than are truly possible for them. The fourth reason that people don't set goals is because of the fear of rejection. People are afraid that if they set a goal and are not successful, others will criticize or ridicule them. This is one of the reasons why when you begin to set goals, you should keep your goals confidential. Don't tell anyone. Let them see by your results and achievements what you have accomplished, but don't tell them in advance. What they don't know can't hurt you. The average person starts life traveling through an unmapped and uncharted world with no roadmap. This is the equivalent of starting off in life with no goals and plans. He or she simply figures things out as he or she goes along. Often, 10 or 20 years of work will go past, and the individual is still broke, unhappy in his or her job, dissatisfied with his or her marriage, and making little progress. And still, he or she goes home every night and watches television, wishing and hoping that things would get better. But they seldom do, not by themselves. Earl Nightingale once wrote, Happiness is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal. You only feel truly happy when you are making progress step by step, towards something that's important to you. Goals give you a sense of meaning and purpose. 
Goals give you a sense of direction. As you move toward your goals, you feel happier and stronger. More people today fear change and worry about the future than at any other time in our history. One of the great benefits of goal setting is that goals enable you to control the direction of change in your life. Goals enable you to assure that the changes in your life are largely self-determined and self-directed. Goals enable you to instill meaning and purpose into everything you do. Your greatest responsibility to yourself is to invest whatever time is required to become absolutely clear about exactly what it is you want and how you can best achieve it. The greater clarity you have regarding your true goals, the more of your potential you will unleash for good in your life. The sad fact is that, according to Stanford University, the average person functions with only about 2% of his or her mental potential. The remainder just sits there in reserve, being saved up for some later time. The starting point of all goal attainment is desire. You must develop an intense burning desire for your goals if you really want to achieve them. It is only when your desire becomes intense enough that you will have the energy and the internal drive to overcome all the obstacles that will arise in your path. The great oil billionaire H.L. Hunt was once asked the secret of success. He replied that success requires two things and two things only. First, he said, you must know exactly what it is you want. Most people never make this decision. Second, he said, you must determine the price that you will have to pay to achieve it and then get busy paying that price. Many people make the mistake of thinking that they will pay the price after they've experienced the success. They sit in front of the stove of life and say, first give me some heat and then I'll put in some wood. Setting goals, working toward them day by day, and ultimately achieving them is the key to happiness in life. Goal setting is so powerful that the very act of thinking about your goals makes you happy, even before you've taken the first step toward achieving them. To unlock and unleash your full potential, you should make a habit of daily goal setting and achieving for the rest of your life. There's no greater guarantee of a long, happy, healthy, and prosperous life than for you to be continually working on being, having, and achieving more and more of the things you really want. Clear goals enable you to release your full potential for personal and professional success. Goals enable you to overcome any obstacle and to make your future unlimited. Now, here are three things you can do immediately to put these ideas into action. First, imagine that you have the inborn ability to achieve any goal you can ever set for yourself. What do you really want to be, have, and do? Second, look at your personal life and work today and identify how your own thinking has created your world. What should you, what could you change? Third, determine the price that you will have to pay to achieve the goals that are most important to you, and then get busy paying that price. Music.